It's not a question about whether or not it was a story that had to be covered in the first place. It was proportionality. I think the problem has been that the editorial judgments, the filters that the press uses to decide what truly matters and what doesn't have kind of corroded a little bit. And we haven't figured out exactly how to separate that which has lasting impact, which we do need to cover on the front page at the top of the news uh, night after night from the things that, that don't matter. It's uh, the Richard Ford, the novelist, had a wonderful New York Times op-ed piece recently. He said, all this information in this culture we live in now swarms around us and we sort of don't quite know what to do with it until something comes along and stings us and then that's all we pay attention to. And it could be Monica or a natural disaster or troubled young kids who shoot up uh, schools or you know, genocide in the Balkans, but all of a sudden then we're mesmerized and we don't know how to get out of it. I think that what's changed most is not the question of integrity. I think journalism uh, is thriving. I think journalists who work for news organizations like CBS, The Washington Post, have standards that are uh, scrupulous and fairness is the most important thing to them. But what has changed is this blizzard of information that comes to us through all the different technologies of communication that's really morphing the whole uh, profession of journalism in the first place. I want to talk about that.